Hey guys, Jessica Damu here, and today I've got a very, very special review for you today. This is the Out of Production M6 OA2 Battle Tank, aka the Dominator. This was produced by Timmy Toys, and it's absolutely amazing. It had a production run from 1990 to 2005. Some of them were electronic, and it came in multiple colors. This is just a standard tan version desert attack version uh, they came in green tan desert camo and woodland camo it's 21 inches long 9 inches wide and 11 and a half inches high 114 scale you can see our Timmy Aryaman here don't even come up you know anywhere near to its height you take a standard green Timmy tank and uh, it's definitely outclassed and I don't think the greens are going to hold the Timmy Battle Mountain for very long. It has kind of a starship barrel. This one has definitely been chewed on by either a small child or a dog or cat. I'm not sure. I found this at a yard sale, or not a yard sale, a thrift store, and I just was so happy. <laughs> so exciting. So the top turns, there's a spot here for storing soldiers or men, whichever you want. The Timmy soldiers work just fantastic with it, but it also works with uh, 118 scale old school core figures and G.I. Joes. Of course, he's gonna get his head lobbed off there, but it'll work pretty well here too. I prefer to use it with army men, but again, it does work with Joe scale figures. The more modern Joes, and modern core figures are not going to fit in there. Just so you know. Eye hole here, the cannon can aim up, it can aim down. This turns a little bit. Looks like we have a turret of some sort there, aiming behind us. It really rolls, so that's really cool. And it rolls well, even on my uh, rough terrain. Got a pocket, or not a pocket, a little opening here for storing your figures in. So you can store a whole battalion of tan soldiers in there. It'll probably fit at least 30 if you really, really tried. So you can keep your whole army in there. Opposite side, this opens up. Stick another soldier in there. Underneath, got a wheel that helps it turn. And two wheels in the front. You kind of see where a soldier sits there and what allows it to spin and turn. So yeah, the electronic version uses a 9 volt battery and makes machine gun, cannon fire, and bombing noises. So that's pretty cool. It'd be nice to find an electronic version of this. So I've got a little slideshow at the end here thanks to a friend of mine and uh, he's credited in the uh, more info area with this name, but I enjoy the little slideshow of the Dominator dominating various types of terrain. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If anyone's really interested in this, um, Timmy Toys said that if there was enough interest in this, that they could bring this back, that they think they have the mold for it. So currently it's out of production. Um, It'd probably cost a fair amount given its size, you know, but, oh man, it's, it's absolutely worth it. I mean, look, it's the dream tank you always wanted. So if you're interested in this toy being back in production, make sure to uh, go to www.timmyusa.com and send a message. Let them know you want to see the Devastator or the Dominator back in production. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll see it. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new Army Toy Review just about every Friday and a new Toy Review just about every other day. And make sure to follow me on Facebook, Joshua Gadamu. I'll see you guys next time.